viewers welcome to our channel aerial pixel uh, today we are going to take you to the dog sledge in the swedish lapland and uh, which is one of our most desired long waited and top in our bucket list here it calls rookie run uh, and uh, it's the perfect and short tour for the beginners dogs so we don't know yet which four or six dogs is coming with our coming with us so there will be a pack and we're gonna go with them they will gonna lead us so let's go you have to keep few things in your mind first of all uh, there will be two person in one sledge you will be one of them and uh, both will do the same I mean both activity one will be in passenger seat and other will be in the backside to drive the whole sledge so if you will in passenger seat you can have the chance to enjoy the scenery and the beauty of the forest and after a while you can change your seat and driver will come back to your seat on the passenger and you will go back and drive the whole sledge it will be in, in your under control so that's the thing very important thing you have to keep in your mind for this activity that you have to speak or you have to understand English language that is mandatory yes English language because Everyone's safety is very important here and uh, the instructor or the guide will instruct you how to control over the sledge and how to communicate with the dog and the whole instruction will be in English. So you have to understand what they are talking about. You have to have your control over the whole sledge during the driving time. So if not i mean if you don't speak uh, english or if you don't understand properly english in that case they will make you sit the whole tour in a passenger seat you cannot drive the whole sledge and that's the main fun part so you're gonna miss that so that's an important thing you have to keep in your mind that's all Mm -hmm. You have the parking brake, that's the anchor. 
Oh, you're gonna use this Great. one now in the start, okay. and we come back. Okay. okay. During the tour, you're not gonna use it. And my father is gonna help you with this one, yeah. so you're not even gonna focus okay. on this part. Okay. okay. But it will hang on the sweat. Okay. Like this. Yeah. Right. But no use. Mm -hmm. Then you have the black mat that we call the cruise control. Okay. Uh, you take it down with your fingers, like this. Yeah. And then you put your heels down. Yeah. Okay, or one foot on, like this. And this is only to control the speed of the dogs, to slow them okay. down. Okay. You can never ever stop the team with this one because you don't have enough grip. Right. Oh, okay. It could be down the whole way. Yeah. It's not a problem. Okay. The only thing is when you go up hills, mm -hmm. this one will be in the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then you just take the toes under, flip it up, and then you start helping the dogs by kicking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or running behind the sled. Okay. Just remember if you decide to run behind, don't let go of the sled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it's still going to be minus your weight when you oh, jump okay. off. Yeah. So it's automatically going to go easier. Okay. Yeah. So if you don't hold on, then you have a passenger with no driver. Uh, <laughs> so uh, hold on to the sled. Yeah. Uh, then this one, mm -hmm. it's the main brake. This, it's permanent stops, mostly. Okay. But if you're standing on this one first, and you feel that, no, it's not really helping yeah. that much, yeah. then just use that one. Okay. okay. And this is, it's a really good grip for this. Okay. You but have... Usually I don't need to use the real brake, right? Because it's I only, don't want to stop the flame. No, it's only for permanent stops and yeah. now okay. in the start when you're okay. going to use this one. Okay. When we're actually, because we're going to stop by the road so yeah. that my father can check the cars. Okay. After that, you're pretty much only going to use this one. Okay. The only time when you're going to use it then is when we're actually going to stop and you're gonna change drivers. Okay. okay. That's the only time when you're really gonna need this one. Okay. If we come to a certain point where I can feel that, okay, if there is a hill going down mm -hmm. and I can feel that the black mat is not gonna be enough, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna stop. Mm. I'm not gonna tell you to use this one instead. Okay. And then you're gonna use this one yep. all the way down. Okay. Uh, you're gonna have four commands for the dogs, yeah. but I'm only gonna let tell you two okay. because okay. that a two is just yeah you're not gonna use it okay. it's gonna be first and it's the left and right yeah exactly but right. i'm not gonna just take off and leave you yeah. behind yeah. 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 Uh, so i'm always gonna be checking out mm -hmm. uh, but the most important is whoa and that's stop whoa yeah okay. and that's always together with this break okay and your hand up yeah. oh uh, now you're not gonna have someone behind you but if there is a snowmobile, they use the same language. Okay. So if you're gonna stop, put the brake down, whoa, and your hand up. Okay. And then you're gonna real, put a real pressure on the brake. Okay. Uh, to start the dogs, mm -hmm. now they're really eager to go. So usually you don't really, <laughs> you don't really need the command, yeah. but it's good. Yeah. Uh, it's hike for okay. start. Hike. Hike. Okay. And that's only start. When the dogs are actually running, you don't keep saying hike, hike, hike. Then okay. they will stop because they get sick of it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so when they're actually running, just encourage them by saying good teams, good dogs, just something positive. Oh, okay. And they will keep on going. Oh, okay. But for start, it's only hike. Okay. Um, for the passenger to sit down, yeah. the easiest way is to sit like this. Because okay. then the easiest way is just to lean together with the driver okay. and the driver needs help with the okay. You could also sit like this, but there is some parts where there is a sharp turn. Oh. So then you might just roll off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So the easiest way is like this. Uh, never have your feet out okay. because you don't know what's going to come on the train. Yeah. Uh, ask my father because he broke his foot. Oh, he really? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so always have your feet up. Uh, I'm gonna stop every second, every third kilometer, yeah. so that you can change drivers. And when you do, tell the dogs, whoa, 
put the brake down, your hand up, yeah. and Whoa. you wait. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You wait until the next driver comes up yeah. to put one foot on the brake, one hand on the handlebar. Okay. Because if you stop and you step off, oh. there is no flat. Oh, yeah. okay. just take off the full speed. Okay. They hate to stand still. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so just remain on the brake the whole way. You're also going to have six dots yeah. in front of the sled. And this line is going to be between the dots. So you're going to have one dog on each side. And this line has to be up from the ground and stretched out like this. If it comes down on the ground or starts to wobble, it means you're moving too quick. So first of all, you can run over your dogs because they get squeezed in together okay. yeah. and your sled starts to move sideways oh, okay. because you're not going to have any control. Yeah. If that happens, use one of the brakes, either the cruise control or the main brake until the line is up and stretch again. Sometimes, I think today, that will mostly happen going downhill. Um, but it can also happen on the flat surface. Mm -hmm. So just keep it up and stretch. Sometimes you gotta be on the brake quite much because yeah. directly when you let go, the mm -hmm. line goes down. Oh. So always have like an even brake. Yeah. Uh, the dogs also pee and poo oh. me while running. Okay. <laughs> the only two dogs that can have the opportunity to stop the whole team okay. is the leader dogs in the front. Okay. If they decide to pee or poo, you also have to stop. Because at that point as well, you're just going to squeeze in the key and you will run over the dogs. And at that point, there is no time to, to say whoa. Yeah. It's just to step the brake. <laughs> uh, just to stop them. And then when they're done, just, yeah, you're just going to keep on going. And if there is any tangle, sometimes there is two dogs on the same side of this line. Just leave it for about one or two minutes. Sometimes they fix it by themselves. Okay. But if they don't, just scream and I will help. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the start is the most critical part of the whole tour. Yeah. Uh, the most important thing is just to take it slow. Uh, my father is going to help you in the start. And uh, when we're ready, yeah. we're going to tell you to get ready. And then the driver remains with both feet on the main brake mm. and holds on to the sled. The passenger sits down and gets ready. My father is going to open up the gate. Mm. He's going to help you to put up the anchor yeah. and you just stay here. Okay. I will take off first through yeah. the gate yeah. and then my father is going to help you and then just listen to him. If he tells you to brake more, you break more. Okay. If it tells you to let go a little bit of the brake, mm -hmm. then let go a little bit of the brake. Okay. Uh, because he needs to be able to kind of pull you to the right. Because yeah. if it goes too quick, yeah. uh, you could also go down to the left, so you crash into the gate. Mm. So as long as you take it slow, so yeah. that he can help you pulling the line, yeah. Yeah. then you'll be fine. Okay. Well. And I will stop further ahead uh, to wait for my father because of the road so he's yeah. gonna follow us up okay uh, so i'm gonna stop and then you have to stop behind me as well okay. and then you just <clears throat> push the brake down again okay. so you're gonna stop you... by that close stick the first two close sticks. Okay. Yeah. okay okay on this tour we're gonna uh, take a tour into the deep forest and we will discover the charm and the mystery of swedish lapland so we are going to uh, into the forest and then woodland, lakes, uh, into the nature. <laughs> so, and on this tour, as a guest, me or Ovi, one of us at first, we will take in charge of the pack of the dog team. There will be four to six dogs in the pack and uh, after meeting with the dogs and uh, <laughs> meeting with the dogs and uh, getting the instruction from the guide the guide will take us into the deep forest so what are we waiting for let's go 